हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम बैक टू अवर चैनल दीक्षा कर्नाटका सो केसेट काउंसलिंग 2024 हैज ऑलरेडी स्टार्टेड एंड वी आर एट द स्टेज ऑफ ऑप्शन एंट्री सो इन टुडेज वीडियो वील बी डिस्कसिंग द नेक्स्ट स्टेप ऑफ ऑप्शन एंट्री दैट इज मॉक अलॉटमेंट सो एवरीथिंग अबाउट मॉक अलॉटमेंट वील बी अंडरस्टैंडिंग इन दिस वीडियो सो प्लीज वॉच इट कंप्लीटली सो दैट यू डोंट हैव एनी डाउट रिगार्डिंग मॉक अलॉटमेंट वील बी डिस्कसिंग रिगार्डिंग वॉट इज मॉक अलॉटमेंट वाई इज इट इंपॉर्टेंट वाई इज इट डन वॉट टू डू आफ्टर मॉक अलॉटमेंट everything will be covered in detail so yes let's get started now so what is mock allotment okay so if you see after the entry of options like now you are in the round 1 option entry phase so you are putting your preferences so after the entry of options are completed based on the options entered by the candidates in the order of the merit and by following the roster system mock seats allotment will be carried out so this mock seat allotment is only an indicative seat status which candidate may or may not get in the real allotment okay so now what is this mock allotment in simple terms you have already done your preferences so you, your preferences list is submitted to the kea now they will follow the roster system that is they'll check your cut off and according to this preference list which you have given now which seat and which course and which seat means what is covered in this seat the course and the college okay which course in which college you will get will be told to you okay so that is what is called mock allotment but again we'll be discussing it in later also mock allotment is not something that really you'll be getting this college and course you cannot guarantee that you may or may not get now importance of mock allotment okay why is it important So based on the mock seat allotment a candidate can get an indicative allotment of college course and stream as per his or her priority of options. So now you will have a idea that if I arrange in this way I am getting the 7th college in my list for example. But you are not very much interested in this 7th college. So whichever college you are interested in you can bring that to 7th number. Okay? So any changes that you want to make after knowing the mock allotment you can do it. second this gives a clear idea to the candidate to change or retain the entered option so you can now have a, okay so now suppose seventh uh, uh seventh option you are allotted and you are happy with this allotment that okay i was wanting this one and i got this you are happy with it so you will retain your option entry suppose you got the seventh option but you are not happy with that you can rearrange your option so that you can get the best option for yourself now candidates can get to know what the other candidate with a lower merit is allotted a seat which he or she was eligible but for his or her not entering that option now this is one very important point suppose there are two friends you and your friend okay you secured a rank of 18000 in the exam okay this is you and this is your friend okay friend has secured at around 20000 okay now you know that you can get better college than him because your rank is better but while well, after the mock allotment you saw that your friend has got a better college and a better course than you in spite that your rank is better now why this has happened this is obviously because you have not entered that particular option so now you can realize these things and you can change make changes in your option entry okay so that is why mock allotment is very important now again this is very important for other set of students who doesn't okay one more thing here therefore candidates will be given one more chance to change the priority of options or deletion or addition or reordering of the options so once you are uh, having a idea that which college you are going to get which course you are going to get so you will another will give you will be given another chance to modify your options so that you can get the best option for yourself okay now what to do after mock allotment so once the mock allotment is done what you have to do okay first once the mock allotment is done you have to check it candidates are required to verify their allotted seat status on the kea website if they desire they are free to change reorder delete or add to their choices of courses in college as per the preference okay so if you are interested like you have to first check your allotted seat if you are happy you can keep it as it as it is if you are not happy you can make any changes okay so you can add so please remember you can add new choices also okay you can add new choices also you can delete or you can modify or that is rearrange your options now coming to the second point candidates will be able to view the details of the seat allotted as per their option priority so you will be able to 
see your seat priority whatever you are getting which college code which course code everything will be given in the mock allotment like which number option which priority number option which course which college which category you got everything will be there in detail next this is very important candidates who have not been allotted any seat in the mock allotment should verify the options entered by them and are advised to enter more options in which they are interested so if any student is not getting any uh, college in the mock allotment this is very important okay so if any student is not getting any seat in mock allotment so in the real allotment also it have it can happen that they cannot get any other options they cannot get any seat so that is why it is advisable if you are not getting any seat in the mock allotment add more options which you are interested in okay add more another more options so that you can get a seat in the real allotment okay so now so sorry here we have one more point all the candidates must enter their final options before the last date prescribed candidates will not be able to change their options after the last date and time fixed to do so okay so whatever is the so after the mock allotment first is you have to check it second is you have to check the college code course code the category which preference you have to uh, you have been allotted then you have to decide whether to make any changes or to keep it and for those students who did not get any seat for them what they have to do they have to add more options and finalize your options by the last date and the last time whichever is fixed okay now coming to here some important instructions or important things that you must know about mock allotment first is even though the candidate may not like to modify the options after the mock allotment he or she may not get the same seat during the real allotment so if you do not make any changes in your option entry after the mock allotment still there is no guarantee that you will get the same seat which you got in the mock allotment you will get the same seat in the real, uh, real allotment why is this not possible because other students may change their preferences okay so that is why there is no guarantee that whatever seat you got in the mock allotment the same you will get in the round 1 allotment okay you cannot claim for that seat now this is only an indicative exercise candidates need not report to the college but should wait for the real allotment results okay so there is no point of there is no uh, need to join now or join after the mock allotment pay the fees and go to the college nothing you have to do these all process will start after the actual round 1 allotment okay yes so this was all about mock allotment so if you have any doubt regarding this please comment down we'll definitely address it and please like share and subscribe the channel if you have found this video helpful all the very best for your kset option entry